Hey, welcome back. Today I have an original Bare Minerals video for you. I'm gonna be using the original products, so all of the loose products. I just thought this would be a fun throwback. If you are an OG subscriber from 2012, 2013, when I first started making videos, then you remember when 90% of my content was Bare Minerals related. So I just thought this would be a fun little throwback, and I'm just gonna take you through a quick little, little look. I don't really have like a specific look in mind but um that's that's the fun of it we're just going to create something natural and something very uh bare minerals like i'm going to start out with my powder this is the original powder foundation i am in the shade light which is pretty much kind of like the shade i can always get away with in the uh, winter time, I do kind of bump it down to the fairly light range, but this is kind of a good middle ground color for me. It just matches me uh, pretty much year round. So for those of you who are new to my channel or maybe you just don't know my history with Bare Minerals, I'm first gonna say if you need a further in-depth tutorial on how to apply Bare Minerals, whew, I have probably over 15 that you can watch and uh, get some get some tips from. So this isn't gonna be the most detailed video, um, but I just thought it would be fun to kind of play around for those of you who are used to seeing me use Bare Minerals and who are still fans of the brand yourselves. So um, if you are new to my channel, I actually worked for Bare Minerals my entire time I was in college. So for almost five years, I worked for a very small branch of Bare Minerals and that's how I got into makeup and that's how I got into YouTube ultimately. I started, uh, you can go back and you can watch my first ever video. It was, I can't remember, it was how to apply something Bare Minerals. So yeah, that's ultimately how I got into YouTube and how I started making videos. And so um, not many people were talking about Bare Minerals in 2012 and 2013 on the internet. It was all about Mac during that time, I remember. So my videos just kind of took off from there because simply because there was nobody else producing that kind of content. I remember there was a girl called Ariel Hope Makeup. I don't think she makes videos anymore, but she was reviewing Bare Minerals quite a bit so pretty much we were like the only two and uh, I'm just I am very knowledgeable on the brand because I did work uh, for them for five years and I was constantly using their products on myself and other people so yeah that's that's the the down low if you are new I'm gonna use a little bit of my well-rested powder this is a powder under eye brightener the way I like to use this is I actually like to use it with something that's a little bit more fluffy and I just get a little bit in the cap swirl it around and then I just use that to brighten my under eye area a lot of people like to use this as setting powder for their concealer I kind of find it to be a little bit too much but I love wearing it on its own with just uh, the powder. To bronze, of course, I have a little bit of warmth. A few of you all have um, commented and asked me if I've tried the liquid warmth or liquid faux tan. Truthfully, I, I don't think I've seen anyone use those. I haven't seen them yet. I think maybe Katie Jane Hughes I've seen use once or twice in like her Instagram live get ready with me's. But um, to be honest, I don't I don't think I'm on Bare Minerals PR list anymore. I just, I don't really receive much from them anymore. So I'm kind of behind on, uh, on new stuff. Let's take it back old school to my all time favorite Bare Minerals blush. They still make this, I'm pretty sure. It is called Hint and it's a loose blush. I would, I mean, I would show you the close-ups, but it's hard to see with the way the containers are made. Hint is a very light pink color, and it has a lot of glow to it. I just remember being obsessed with this back in the day, and I still really love it. I still think it's a beautiful color. The great thing about also Bare Minerals loose products like this, their original ones, is that they don't expire, people. I'm about to whip out a product that is old as 
probably like the beginning of their company. <laughs> Look at this glow, people. It just amazes me to this day that their products are still misconceived as being, you know, drying or flat. I mean, this is like glow central on my face right now. I haven't even put highlighter on, but I'm gonna. I'm about to knock your socks off with this one. This proves how long I have been using Bare Minerals. This is a highlighter from their 2010 or 2011, I can't remember, holiday collection. The collection was called In A Way We Glow. How I still remember that, I, I don't know, it, it mind boggles me, but this highlighter was in one of their holiday kits and I refused to get rid of it because I told myself if I ever had a chance to collaborate with Bare Minerals, this is a highlighter, this is what I would want to recreate. So I hold on to this product because it's it was just my favorite for years and I'm gonna use it today because it is a, it's a blinder, it's a blinder y'all. I'm gonna regret doing this, but I'm just gonna show you really, how freaking blinding this is. I mean, can you, can you even right now? Okay, obviously I'm not gonna walk around looking like a dumbass all day, so this is gonna have to lighten up. <laughs> Still very intense, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, this, this was just, the, just think back in 2010 highlighters just they were I don't even think they were really on the scene that much so this product to me was just like finding jackpot in 2010 and 2011 I have just been so obsessed with it for years and I can't get rid of it by the way I don't know if I mentioned this did I mention this bare minerals loose products they don't expire so but look at me I'm thriving this was like five steps and I know I'm just jibber jabbing throughout this video it could be done a lot quicker but you know it's fun to just play around I'm gonna do my brows with Glossier uh, brow flick just because like I said I don't have bare mineral um, brow products right now to use so um, yeah I'm just gonna whip on some brow flick I have two eyeshadow palettes from Bare Minerals. I try to keep my palettes at a minimum now just because I don't really use them a lot. But the two that I kept from Bare Minerals, number one is, uh, this was a neutrals palette that I actually had a chance to collaborate with them on in 2015, I think. That's how old this palette is. And it was an eyeshadow and a face palette. And I'll never forget because this was my first ever big campaign with a brand. And they kind of wanted me they, to be like the same behind the palette so it was really fun I got to shoot photos with it and they included it in like their promotionals in their emails and on social media so this is just kind of like a special palette for me to hold on to and then one that I really enjoyed from a couple of years ago I think this was maybe from a holiday collection it is um I don't know <laughs> It's this palette. It's this palette right here. I don't exactly know what the name of it is, but just a ton of neutral eyeshadows. So I'm probably gonna play from this one and then I have a loose pigment called Precious. This is an old eyeshadow from Bare Minerals. I don't know if they still make this, but we're gonna play around with it today and see how it goes. I'm gonna take this shade, it's called Come True, and it's just kind of like a light taupey transitional color. I'm gonna use that all over my lid as a nice little lid color. I'm gonna take this kind of burgundy shade right here on a, hmm, let's do like a little smudger brush. I'm gonna take a Marc Jacobs smudger brush here, just pick up this shade, and I'm going to start working that into my lash line.
Okay, so now I'm gonna take a little bit of my loose pigment. This one is in Precious, and I'm gonna pick that up on the back of this brush. I'm also going to spritz my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus just to bring out the color a bit, and then we're just gonna press that on. Just gonna smudge a little bit of this darker brown underneath. I think I'm gonna pop on some lashes. I'm gonna do these Salon Perfect. I think they're the Silk Noir and the number is 650. I want to do a super nude lip. So I have this lip gloss, which I think they still make. I think it's in different packaging now. It's called Groovy. It's just like the creamiest pale nude color. I completely forgot about it until I went looking back in my stash. And I'm going to use that with their lip pencil, the Gen Nude Lip Pencil in Borderline. All right, so this is the final look. I mean, truthfully, you would never be able to tell that I was just wearing powder on my face. That's why I love their products. That's why I've championed them for years. This is just, you know, it's a look and I, I'm a fan of it. I'm glad that I pulled out some of these products that I haven't used in a long time because <laughs> this highlighter, I mean, this highlighter is pretty intense. Let's be, let's be honest here, but it's fun. It's fun to play around with some intense stuff now and then. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have questions about Bare Minerals or anything, I mean, most of you know I have a full playlist. I have countless videos explaining how to use their products, so you should be able to find your answer in one of those videos. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the look, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.